take a look at this, shall we? You know, um, I've said this before and I'll say it again for you new viewers. I don't understand what the hell is going on at the upper echelon of Warner Bros. Now, I can always speculate. And part of my speculation is that clearly with the success of the Snyder Cut and the movement, the views. Matter of fact, the other day, someone sent me a screenshot of something that was talking about a streaming website, one of the biggest streaming websites in China, that now the Snyder Cut is the most streamed movie on there beating out Endgame. To me, it feels like, I don't know, I'm speculating, so I'm not pointing the finger, and I'm not saying send hate to anyone, but I'm speculating, I'm like, God, it feels like people don't, may not like the man at the top. Like, I don't understand, I mean, what is that, come in the board meeting, kicking over tables, insulting people and their wives, I mean, did he come in, I'm that fire, yeah. Woo! You shut up, fat boy. Yeah, I'll take your wife home and make a woman out of her. Yeah. Now, like I was saying, I'm that. Woo! I'm Zack Snyder, the greatest director to ever live. Yeah. Woo! I mean, did he come in like that? I understand. Honey, you just wait your turn, and maybe Zach will let you ride old Space Mountain. Yeah. Like, I understand what he did to piss people off. You know what I think of the Snyder's Cut's success? And I think of Zach. You know what I think of? I really do think of this. I think of Karate Kid Part 1. Everyone ends like this. But the very ending, I see Daniel LaRusso winning, a.k.a. the Snyder Cut, winning, and Mr. Miyagi, a.k.a. Zack Snyder, sitting there. That's what I see. You know what I mean? Proved all the naysayers, proved the Cobra Kai wrong. You know what I mean? Swallow your pride and move forward with the Snyderverse. But I digress. Let's get into this. Ugh. Snyder, on the chance of more DC films, Warner Brothers has been an aggressively anti-Snyder. Uh, quote, clearly they aren't interested in my take. So let's see what it has to say here. Zack Snyder has talked about the chance of more DC movies in the Snyderverse. Warner Bros. has been aggressively anti-Snyder, if you will. Clearly they're not interested in in my take, he told Jake Hamilton. But I would also say that they certainly weren't interested in, I would, they weren't interested in, I would have said originally in my take on the Justice League. They certainly made decisions that I love the characters and I love the worlds that, this is written funny. The world's, and I think that it's, ama it's an amazing place to make a movie and it's glorious IP, so there's that. He added, I don't know what could be done as you go forward other than I think the fan movement is so strong and the fan community is so, the intention is so pure and I really have huge respect for it. I would hope that cooler heads would prevail with them and that they would see that there's still massive fan there is there's there's this massive fandom that wants more of them but who knows what they'll do Zack Snyder's Justice League came about thanks to a passionate fan campaign under the hashtag release the Snyder cut and in the wake of the movie's release, fans have pivoted to another mission, hashtag restore the Snyderverse. This includes Justice League 2 and 3, as well as Ben Affleck's 
canceled Batman movie and the Deathstroke HBO Max project. However, an HBO Max trailer calls the Snyder Cut the completion yeah, I know, of the Zack Snyder trilogy. And Warner Bros. CEO and Sarnoff recently poured water over hopes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, Zack Snyder's Justice League is streaming on HBO Max. Yeah. So I think I said everything I need to say in the beginning. Okay? Hashtag restore the Snyderverse kindly. 10 million subscribers. Woo! <gasps>